My name is Amanda Hartman and I'm one of the speech pathologists here on the team at AssistiveWare and today we are looking at Preloquoi for Text. This video will give you some quick tips and tricks for making the most of the prediction features within the app. Let's look at the app now. You might have noticed when you first started using Preloquo for text that somehow you ended up with two word prediction bars above your keyboard. This is visually very confusing. This is because you have the standard iOS predictive text running automatically on your iPad. It is the first grey word bar directly above the keyboard and it runs in this app as well as across all other apps. You might also be using Keeble or another third party keyboard that also includes word prediction. And then on top of that is the word prediction bar, this white one that is being built into the Proloquo for Text app. We should not have both word prediction bars going at once, so we will need to turn one of them off. We have the ability to turn off either of these word prediction bars, so which one would you do? We would recommend turning off the Apple iOS predictive text and using the Proloquo for text word prediction as it is a more powerful predicting tool and can be customized from within the app. However, you should be aware that when you turn off this Apple iOS predictive text, it will be turned off across all applications where you need a keyboard that you may use on your iPad or iOS device. So, perhaps you might choose to turn off instead the Proloquo for Text word prediction and you can do that within the options section of the app. To open options, I press the cog on the top toolbar and then I press prediction and I can slide the toggle to turn word prediction off. Now I just have the single bar of word prediction provided by the iOS keyboard. I'm going to turn back on word prediction in Proloquo for Text now and instead show you how you will turn off the Apple predictive text. So the quickest way to turn on and off the iOS predictive text is by holding down the keyboard globe key and then turning off the prediction switch in the pop-up that appears. I can turn this on and off depending on what app I'm using. So now I just have one bar of word prediction and it is the Proloquo for text word prediction. So now we can look at how we can change the options of the prediction so it is most efficient. I like that. To change prediction, we need to open the options by pushing the cog on the top toolbar and I'm already in my prediction settings. You can see that this allows me to make changes to the prediction settings for both word prediction and also sentence prediction within the app. What we see here at the beginning are the default settings, which you may keep or slightly adjust to suit you. So let's look at word prediction first. We've already seen that we can turn off word prediction here, but there are a few other features to consider. Auto spacing is turned on, which means I will always get a space added automatically after I have made a selection from the word prediction bar. This makes a lot of sense to just leave on. Next is multi word prediction. Let's have a look at it in the app. If I type I W L it guesses that I might be trying to say will, but it also gives me multi-word predictions like will be, will not. Having multi-word predictions can help efficiency in putting sentences together. But go ahead and uh, turn it off if you prefer to only be presented single words at a time. The next setting is an interesting one. It's learning. By default, Proloquo for text is set to all words, which means that the word prediction will automatically start learning and remembering all words that you use. If I start typing in my brother's name, the Proloquo for text will start remembering this so that it appears in the word prediction bar. The limitation of selecting all words is for poor spellers, as it will remember all words that they have used, including those that have been spelt incorrectly. You cannot later manually remove these misspelt words. Although we should note that misspelt words will be removed automatically after a while if they are not used repeatedly. 
So perhaps if there are some problems spelling, you could change the settings in the app so that it learns correctly spelt words. You can also turn off learning altogether. Let's leave it at all words for this demonstration. Finally, for word prediction, you can change how many words to appear on the bar and the suggested order that the words appear, either by alphabetical or by likelihood. One such customization in this section is to do with the number of words on the word prediction bar. For fast typers, it is generally recommended to set fewer word suggestions because otherwise typing the next letter is easier than picking a suggestion. For slower typers or poor spellers, it is typically better to set many words suggestions. Having many suggestions can speed up typing and reduce effort a lot for slow typers and for poor spellers it can help them to see many words to pick from. I will not go. In another e-learning video we looked at how to change the appearance settings in Proloquo for text. There are a couple of sections in our appearance settings that are relevant to this video on word prediction. So let's go back into our options now and then we'll back out of where we were in the prediction settings so that we can go into the appearance settings. If we scroll down in this section to the quick blocks, you can see that word prediction is actually an option here. This means that we can add word prediction to the quick blocks so that words are presented vertically on the side. This would be an alternative to the word prediction appearing above the keyboard. So let's turn it on here and you can see it will appear on the right side. So when we go out, to see the word prediction, I tap on the top of the word quick block until I get to word prediction. And now I can start typing. And you can see that I have two word predictions now, these vertical ones and also the one above the keyboard. So it's probably best if I turn this one off and I can do this back in options. So back in options, I back out of here and quickly I can see that actually keyboard prediction can also be turned off in this appearance menu, as well as in the prediction menu that I showed you previously. So let's turn it off and now we can see that we have word prediction in this quick block. Some people may prefer this option for word prediction as some may find it easier to scan this vertical list of words rather than having the word prediction above the keyboard. But let's change things back. So we'll turn back on keyboard prediction and we'll turn off the quick block word prediction and we'll back out of here. Let's go and have a look at our sentence prediction settings now here. The sentence predictions appear in one of the quick blocks. I can see mine on the left side of the text pad when I tap on the top of the quick block. To change the configurations of sentence prediction, I do that here. The two ways I can change sentence prediction is by choosing the number of sentence suggestions that are offered and also the suggested order that the sentences appear based on either likelihood or alphabetical. If you do need any help using the word prediction or sentence prediction settings, you can access help within the app. You scroll to the bottom of this prediction section and then tap on this blue link. It takes you to that section of the manual to help answer any questions you might have about prediction. And click done to close it. The last comment to make in this video is one other alternative that you may consider. If you actually use your iPad and the iOS keyboard across many different apps, not just Proloquo for text. You might not like to turn off the iOS predictive text as you find it useful when typing in other apps. One alternative to this is to use one of Assistive Wear's keyboards. These keyboards will run across all apps, including Proloquo for text, and also have their own customizable word prediction. So looking in Proloquo for text, to access an alternative keyboard, I hold down the globe button and then perhaps select the keyboard keyboard. Again, if I have chosen one of these keyboard, it's likely that I may have double word prediction above the keyboard. 
In this instance, we are going to be choosing to use Keyball and the Keyball word prediction. So I would need to turn off word prediction in the options menu of Proloquo for text. I go into my options and I turn off word prediction. And now when I'm typing, I can use the Keyball keyboard. I want to go. And this keyboard and word prediction is the one that I can use across all of my apps on my iOS device. This video focused on the prediction settings in Proloquo for text. If you need any further information, please check our website for more resources and videos. Thank you.